Hello everyone, I'm the author and my name is Kai D. I come from Indian University and College and my major is Faculty of Information Technology. For this project, my supervisor is Mr. Mohammad Nos Sharil and my advisor is Dr. Nabila Filza. For this project, my topic is the Kuala Lumpur House Price Descriptive Analytic and Prediction System. Next, it is our today agenda. The first agenda is the research objective, and the second agenda is to make more explanation about the system interface. Firstly, I will go through the research objective. The proposed system objective is to study the current challenge, issue, and solution in the house pricing. And the second objective is to carry out the descriptive and predictive analysis on the house pricing data. And the last objective is to develop a user-friendly website for predictive house pricing system. The last interface of the system is the lockout page. When the user clicks the lockout page, next is the system interface. I will make more explanation about the system interface and explain how the system works. The first system interface is the login page. Upon opening the proposed system page, user will be prompted to log in to access the whole system. At the left hand side is the login function and the right hand side is the register function. The purpose of design di this login page is to collect the user information. The registration also requires the user contact and, e and also the email. This contact information can help the order to contact user and gather the user feedback through the questionnaire or survey form. It can be enhanced the system deficiency. This is the system homepage. Once the user has successfully logged in, they will first see the system homepage. It is clearly listed at the top and it is a project title and designed by the order. Next is the system menu bar with home, descriptive, prediction, dashboard, developer, and the lockout feature. Each of feature are connected to various page. The content of home page which show the system information and the image of Kuala Lumpur. The reason for using Kuala Lumpur photo is that this system is a prediction system made by using KL area dataset. The right hand side is the system description which enable user to know more details about this proposed system. The entire background of the homepage using the dark blue to make the profile of the system appear more prominent. The second page in the system is the descriptive analytic page, which lists out and explains all the descriptive elements that the order has been created in the system. Since the meaning of each image are different, order will add a title to each image so that the user can easily know what the image means and represented for. Since each descriptive image are having a white color background, order use the dark blue as the page background color so that the image can be clearly seen by the user. Next is the prediction page. The order using the linear regression technique and the accuracy is higher at 90% as it is stated above. It has 4 entries for property type, bedrooms number, bathroom numbers, and the area square feet. The user need to select one of the property type and provide the required data to click the estimate price button to make a price prediction. It has no prediction can be made if the user does not enter a full or random input. User can refresh the page when they need to try the new prediction. Once the user has inserted all the valid data in all the columns, they will be automatically estimate the price for the particular property. For example, a bungalow with 6 bedroom, 6 bathrooms and 6,000 square feet is costly about 5.2 million in the KR area. The third page is the dashboard page and this page can be considered as an additional descriptive page. 
the order using the Tableau platform to make the dashboard. The Tableau is an open source analytical platform and it is quite easy to use. To view the relevant attribute information, user can click on various attribute provided, which can be considered as a live descriptive analysis. In the system, it has three different dashboard represented for, which is location with property type, total property number in the area, and also the property size with the rooms number. Not only that, it also contains some automatic calculation inside the result between the dashboard. For example, once the user picks the property number and location, it can be additional show the average price of that property in the prospective location. Tableau also provides many different functions to use. User can also download the dashboard result with different format they want in their computer for any reference use. Next is the developer page. It contains some of the other personal information including the photo, name, nationality, email, and phone number of the order. User can use this order information to contact the order if user have any question about the system. Under the personal information, the order also humbly lists out and grades some ability with some personal skill. The order also added the giving feedback link inside this profile, which welcome all the user giving the feedback after using the system. This is the feedback form. Once user click on that link, it will directly open a new window for the Google form. The Google form are having some description of the system feedback and user may write down their suggestion into the message box. Each user are allowed to submit the various type of suggestion on this Google form. Order will view on this form to make the system future enhancement to fulfill all the user needs. The last interface of the system is the lockout page. When the user clicks the lockout page, the whole menu bar will disappear and empty the entire system page. User will see a line of thanks for using on the lockout page and a user login name is proposed to make the user feel the system is more politely. For just now, the order using the KID account to log in, so it will show the login name KID. It will show the name with someone who log in the system which stored in the database. In the middle, there is also a back to login page button that the user can click. Once this button is clicked by the user, it will go directly to the back to the login page. After user click on the back button, user cannot press any window back button to back to the system without the login function. For my acknowledgement, I would like to thank the Inti University for giving me an opportunity to complete this two semester project, from which I also learned how to complete the whole project independently. Besides that, I also want to thank my FYP lecturer, my supervisor Mr. Sharil, and my independent market advisor Dr. Nabila who contribute to my guidance and help when I encounter the problem and enable me to complete my FYP smoothly. Thank you, you all. So that is all my part of presentation. Thank you for your time and hope you all can understand on my presentation and the explanation. If you guys still have any question or suggestion on the part, please kindly drop an email from me. Thank you.